Hi, welcome to G-Mon and G-Pod Adventures at the Butterfly Palace in Branson, Missouri. And we've never been to this before. And we've only been to the one in St. Louis, Missouri and Key West, Florida. So this one looks like it's fairly big and has a lot of things for kids. Oh, looks like there's a big gift shop. So I'm excited and we bought these tickets online and there was a senior rate if you were, I think it was if you were over 62. So just check out the Butterfly Palace, Branson, Missouri. And it's open daily, nine to five. So here's the uh, front of the building. It says the Butterfly Palace. And this is what we see when we first walk inside. It's decorated for Christmas. And of course their tree has butterflies all over it of all kinds and there's a ramp there and stairs so it is handicap accessible and it says start your adventure here and this is a gift shop and there's lots of butterfly related things that you could buy you can buy your tickets here or you can get them in advance like we did okay sam what did you find out when you bought the little chart because you couldn't buy the chart online. Yeah, the little identification chart that was only a dollar, a dollar even, no tax. And she also told us that as long as you keep your wristband on, where did mine go, you can come back up to two days after your initial visit. So we're here on a Sunday. We could come back Monday and Tuesday also. But you have to keep this on, I guess, she said. Okay. But that's nice. But now where are we headed first? Um, upstairs to the main entrance. And she also said that everything here is included. There's a movie theater, there's a mirror maze, the rainforest area, and then the butterfly. And the critter, reptile critter area, yeah, she's so called it. Everything's included. Santa Claus just arrived. They're sitting right down there in a butterfly chair and he's asking the kids what they want for Christmas. It's a pretty big place. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know it was going to be this big. We're going into the butterfly entrance. Oh, you have the double doors so they don't get out. When you first walk in from him bringing you in, there's this mirrored room where they're going to check you for butterflies before you exit. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Rest through these chains. We've got next Oh, look at this, where you can actually feed them. It says, let them come to you. Please do not poke at the butterflies. Hold upright at times. No need to dip in the fruit trays. You will just get sticky. So look at some of these right here feeding off of them. Butterflies have excellent eyesight but are nearsighted. At about 10 to 12 feet, things start to get blurry for them. Sometimes they'll uh, land on the ground, so you just gotta watch where you're stepping too. They're everywhere. Look at the size of some of them. It says there's over 60 different species of butterflies in here. They just have a few of them on this chart. And they're feeding on different things in that tray. Apples or oranges? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Some type of fruit, I think. Different types of fruit. It says butterflies don't have noses. They have a well-developed sense of smell, but it's not in their noses. They smell with their antenna. Wow, didn't know that. And Donna had a butterfly land on her little feeding tube. It has nectar in it. Nectar in it. They say when you get one, just hold it still. And let them feed. And there's a cool photo spot there with a butterfly chair and the butterfly tree behind it. Big one. He's a big one. Bridges in the rainforest. Bridges were built by scientists so that they could quietly study each layer of the rainforest without disturbing the species living there. The canopy layer can reach up to 100 feet. There's a bridge there that you can go up and kind of see what it looks like from the top, like you're in the canopy. It does say no more than two adults at one time or five people total. I suppose you could have more kids up there then. So we're gonna go up on the bridge and take a look. Oh, uh, you can see all the butterflies flying around up here. That's really cool. And they're everywhere. You get a good view of what's down below. Looks like a lot of them like to fly up higher. 
There's some on the netting up there. Donna's going to try to catch another one. I think they recommended you hold it kind of still and then they come closer to it. There's a couple on my arm. There's one right there. Oh, look at this guy. He's pretty. Yeah. And he's got a friend. friend there. There's two of them. Oh, that's pretty too. Very pretty. The third one I kind of wanted to land. That one's almost solid black with a little orange or red. We're going to go down so some other people can come up here. It's a little bitty narrow bridge. There's two on there right now. And like they warned us, it is very humid in here. So it's nice they had a place out there for you to hang your coats and jackets up. some transparent wings. And they seem to like this wall. There's a bunch of them there together. Maybe they like being in the sunshine. There's a lot of pretty flowers here, a lot of different types. I assume different flowers and plants attract different butterflies. There's some other types of feeders over here. Now one looks like it has mealworms in it. And it gives you the Butterfly Palace Nectar Recipe. One scoop orange powdered Gatorade plus two quarts of water. And nectar should be changed daily. Well, that's their mixture of nectar to attract the butterflies. I definitely don't know my plants, but they do have a lot of unique ones here. And there's one of the smaller butterflies. In this terrarium, they have an African giant millipede. That is big. They tell you about the butterfly life cycle, stages of complete metamorphosis. Butterfly fun fact, puddling. That's when male butterflies gather on the ground to soak up much needed nutrients not found in fruit and nectar. And this room is full of all kinds of butterflies and chrysalises, cocoons, butterflies in different stages. And they have a lot of signs around that say thank you for not touching the butterflies. But it's okay if they land on you. Just don't touch them after they do. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. Stan has a new pet. What are you going to name him? That's George. George? Okay. He looks like a George. He's sticking with me quite a while. I know. Oh my goodness. Look at the one that's on your shirt. I think they just want to be friends. Take him for a walk. <laughs> He's staying on you. Okay, there's Stan and his butterfly. Walking my butterfly. Just so he doesn't have to fly? He's kind of lazy, huh? That's pretty. This is some citrine. It is a variety of quartz arranged like a butterfly. And we're getting ready to leave and you have to stand in line here and wait for an attendant to call you in. And this guy is trying to escape on Stan's backpack. Um, buddy, you don't want to go outside. It's cold right now. You would die. So, better get off the backpack. Before they let you leave from there to go out, they check you really thoroughly. Bottoms of your feet, take your backpack off, put down your purse, check it all, turn around. Just to be safe. They have several pictures on the wall of parts of a butterfly wing. And these parts of butterfly wings spell out the alphabet. Some really cool designs that God came up with. And those are actually numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a photo spot between the butterfly wings. This is the Butterfly Palace movie theater. It's a 15-minute movie. Isn't that right, Donna? Yeah. I see some 3D glasses there. 
Every autumn, millions of monarch butterflies make an extraordinary journey. The movie was really interesting about the migration of the monarch butterflies. Just an incredible process. Wow. Now we're going to go into the banyan tree adventure. Walk through the exhibit, must wear shoes. It's a simulation of walking through the aerial roots that descend from its branches and take root in the soil to become new trunks. We're trying to crawl through. Yeah. Those roots are really tight. That's not easy. Now we're gonna go downstairs and do the mirror maze and the rainforest critter center. Okay, now we're gonna go through the mirror maze. Hey, here yeah. we go. I can't tell what's real and what's a mirror. No, I'm gonna keep my hand out in front of me. I can see ourselves right there. We're trapped again. We're it's a go dead back. end. <laughs> okay, I'm following you. Oh, you're, no. going, you're leading us out. Is this the end? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's a video game. You come out on top of the video game. Well, that was cool, a little bit confusing, but finally got our way out. We're going to go into the Rainforest Critter Center. Of course, everything you go into, your armband is required. So there should be all kinds of little critters in here. This is a crested gecko. I think that's him. It's always fun with these lizards and snakes and reptiles to try to find them in their terrarium. Pink belly side neck turtle. Uh, this is a Cuban false chameleon. Oh yeah, look at him. He's huge. Wow, he's got a long his nose. Face looks like a, his head looks like an alligator. He does. Little spikes underneath his chin. He's cool. They have some interesting little critters in there. So we just got out of the butterfly palace. What'd you think of it? It was 24 person and at this time and I thought it was well worth it. What did you think for yeah. everything you got? Yeah, we got to do several different activities in there besides just being in the butterfly room. It's worth it. It's a good thing to add on to your trip when you're in Branson. Make sure you stay tuned for more adventures. Okay. Bye. Bye.